You know, being around my animals is what gets me through so many things in my life. The emotional attachment I have, the fact that they keep me uh, uplifted even in the hardest of times. Today is a little bit of a difficult time. There's no doubt about that. And I love my girl Perdita and I love Ivy and I love all my animals so much. So they're going to get me through this. You may notice my hair is down, right? And a lot of people have asked me, how long have you had your hair? I will tell you the last time I sat in a barber chair, I was 10 years old. That's when I started growing. Now, of course, Lori trims my hair and stuff like that. I've got my hair cut. I haven't actually not had long hair since I was 10 years old. And one of the things I told you guys when we started this journey of cancer is that I hope that I didn't lose my hair. And up until a few days ago, things were going well. You know, I was doing good, losing a little bit more hair, but nothing major. About four days ago, things really took a bad turn. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you what the morning routine is like, and you'll kind of see where this whole video is going. Four mornings ago, I uh, woke up in the morning. I did my normal routine like I am. I always comb my hair something different happened this particular day as I was combing my hair which I always do before I get in the shower things started happening four days ago is this that's right uh, you guys know that I'm over two months into treatment right now and I really haven't been losing hair at all which I was so pleased about a few days ago that all changed absolutely huge amounts of hair just started just coming out like look at this and there's nothing i can really do you know i mean it's just coming out on a level that uh is is absolutely just crazy i probably in the last four days have lost 20 30 percent of my hair it's very traumatic you know i mean to wake up in the morning and, and just pull out you know handfuls of hair like this <sighs> yeah it sucks <laughs> that is uh the last time that i'll ever well not ever hopefully at the end of this i can grow my hair back the plan is to beat it let's hope that happens but this is the last time i'll be washing my long hair it's the last time that i'll need one of these you can see lots of hair on this <sighs> okay let's head to the shop about four hours till my hair appointment speaking about a beautiful hairy animal my guy drogo here which again just brightens me up and today is a really tough day guys because obviously i'm sure you guys are figuring this that i i'm, I'm gonna cut my hair today and this was probably as vain as it sounds when this whole process started the day i was dreading more than anything i was hoping we could avoid it and i wanted to talk to you like what does my hair mean to me you know um it was it was really the fact that people said especially back when i was younger that i could never achieve if i had long hair i had a ponytail i could never do the things and, and i was rebellious i wanted to show people that hey i could do whatever i want no matter what hair i have or what tattoos i have that you know your looks weren't going to change that at all it became a symbol a chip on my shoulder and then ultimately maybe even a character i always thought one day maybe when i got older i would cut my hair off but i i, I thought it would be on my terms you know and uh it's okay buddy the last four days have been very difficult because, you know, something that means a lot to me, it's defined a lot of who I am and what I do. So many people will come up to me, you know, when I'm out and about and they'll be like, oh, I saw the ponytail and I knew it was you or whatever. And to think that today that's going to be gone, it's, uh, it's hard. This last three months, there's been so much that has changed in my life. And I just want to keep as much normalcy as possible. Here in about an hour and a half or so, we're going to head to the barber. It's actually Noah's barber. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm not going to shave my head off bald, but I'm going to cut it short. And quite frankly, even when I cut it short, if I'm losing that much hair, I may be bald in a week or two or three anyways, and it won't matter. But I'm going to try to at least go for some sort of short haircut for the short term. I know I told you guys in the beginning that I was worried about losing my hair. I was worried about how much weight I was going to lose. I was worried about you guys looking at me and not seeing me as the same person. And, and I also don't want to make this vlog ever uh, about like sadness where people don't want to watch because they're seeing somebody decline. I want to celebrate the fact that I'm working hard to keep life as normal as possible and fulfill my dreams and keep going and battling and fighting. I know the odds suck. I'm still planning on beating this. And when I do beat it, I'm going to grow my hair back and I'm done with treatment and I'm done and I'm healthy. I'll grow my hair back. It might not be this long for a long time, but my hair grows really quick. So let's spend some time with some animals for a little bit, try to get our minds off of things, and then later on we'll go and uh, 
We'll see what happens. Today is obviously a hard day with Brian cutting his hair, but the reality is, honestly, I've always said to him, it didn't matter whether he had long hair or not. There's actually been two or three times during the course of us being together where he considered cutting his hair. And I always told him, hey, you know what? You are who you are with or without the hair. I think personally, he'll look good with short hair just as much as he does with long hair. So for me, it's not really an issue, but I definitely understand how this is a really big thing for him and uh, I do feel bad. I tell you what guys, there is rarely a snake that I buy that I get so obsessed over that I literally can't stop thinking about it. Literally last night while I was laying in bed getting ready to go to bed, all I could think about is getting back over here so I could take a look at Trinity, my pied Burmese python. I mean, it's just such an iconic snake for me. It's so absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I love all my animals. You guys know I'm obsessed on Ivy. I mean, you name them. The list goes down. Sunrise and Jeffrey. I mean, the list goes on and on. But there is something extremely special about this snake right here and I cannot wait till it gets some size on it it's really a fresh baby it's literally gonna shed its first shed here in the next week or so and then hopefully get its first meal definitely just an absolutely gorgeous animal and I couldn't wait to get back down here to see it and I'm gonna just be babying this little monkey here for a long time my dad's getting his hair cut today obviously I've never seen him without hair he's always had long hair life's weird you know tragedies strike in other people's lives but there's always that invincibility you kind of feel or it's just like Everyone else's, those are just stories, but like my life is different. So it's really heavy actually to just kind of realize, well, tragedy can strike in your life as well. Everyone, it's just, I don't know, just hard guys. It's just hard. And again, when I'm sad or I'm feeling a little bit down, spending time with animals is always the thing that brings me up, right? You know, I can walk around and I'm so lucky that I'm surrounded by so many amazing animals. I remember when I got this guy. This is an albino Applegate gopher snake. Absolutely wonderful animal. And these guys were like super popular when I was a teenager, when I was uh, wearing my hair down like this, never in a ponytail. I remember just being absolutely in love with them. And then for quite a few years, I didn't keep them and I didn't see them anywhere. And then actually the Sutherland's out and you Utah actually produced some a couple years ago and I was like I have to buy some and look at how gorgeous they have gotten I mean jeez that is one spectacular snake well we're here uh, I feel like I want to throw up but gotta do it all right, brother, I guess uh, it's that time. You know, we've been through a lot together. It doesn't make sense to not go through this with you as well. So without further ado, Maria. We're gonna do this. <laughs> I mean, it's not as long as yours, bro, but it's definitely the closest in the crew, you know? All right, and that's it. <laughs> so uh, there we go, dude. Looking pretty prisoner right now, to be honest with you. But this is just another step in the journey, dude. I know your hair means a lot to you and it obviously means a lot to us. I mean, it's just a small chink in the armor. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get our hair back and it's gonna be better than ever, dude. So Reptile Army strong. We love you, brother. I know how much your hair means to you. I know how much you love it and I know you've had it for so long. I told you that I love my hair as well. You know that I have the mulligan, you know the reason behind it. Losing your hair in this way absolutely sucks. The fact that it's the cancer and not just you wanting to do it on your own. You know, your hair doesn't make you who you are. You're who you are because you're just a phenomenal human being. You're such a nice dude. Without further ado, I gotta take care of something real quick. I got your back through this whole fight, man. I'm looking great so far. I know it. I'm gonna go finish the rest of this in a mirror. I'll be right back. That is about as bald as I can get with uh, what I have here at home. And I think if I can pull it off, you can definitely pull it off. I told you, my man, I got your back through all this. We all do. A lot of people have threatened to do this over the years. <laughs> <laughs> All of us are behind you 100%. Things are tough right now. Just want you to know to stay positive. Keep your head up. You have an entire industry of people behind you, supporting you. Love you so much. And all of us are doing this in support of you.
I'm Adam Wickens. This is Diamond. Just kidding. Gary's TNA Exotic wishes you much love, speedy recovery. We know you're gonna get through this, Brian. We love you, and just like I said before, you've got a million people, lit over a million people. We love you. I always thought I would cut it one day. I just thought it would be when I was ready, you know? Yeah. And then of course I went through treatment for the last two months and it wasn't falling out. And uh, three weeks ago they switched the treatment because it just wasn't working the way yeah. they wanted it to. They said, you know, you got a 50-50 chance, you know? I was hoping that because I didn't lose it from the first treatment that I'd get lucky, but fortunately it didn't work out. Right, Brian, buddy. Shaving my head for you, mate. I just want to start off by saying how much of an influence you've been for me. You got me over my fear of snakes. Now I own some. I love them to death. Huge reptile person. You've been a massive influence. Love you to death. You're like part of the family. This is definitely for you, sir. Hey, Brian. Just want to say that we all support you. This may cost me a couple months of attention from the wife, but here we go. And by the way, I couldn't find my clippers, so I had to use the dog clippers. Ooh, okay. there you go! Yay! so bad. This is for like when days get tough. You need, um, you're not feeling that strong. This is called a clinging cross. So this is something you can hold in your hands throughout the night, during a nap, during a tough time. I appreciate that so much. You're very welcome. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate you, man. Hey there, Brian. Jojo here from Wolf House Exotics. I'm just here to let you know that you have a lot of love and support in the community. We're all about to show you. Jack from Python Addiction. I know your struggle all too well, personally, so I know exactly what you're going through, and I wanted to take a minute to show my support for you and everything that you mean to me by doing this. I'm here to support you, Brian. Any way I can, I know the struggle all too well. God bless, Brian. What do I want to do next? You owe me nothing today. This is all on me. Yes, this is all on me. Appreciate it so much. You look really handsome, dude. Alright, back to the shop. Who are you? The new, uh, the new and improved, you know? <laughs> no hair frying now. Not no hair. It looks good. Oh, how do you feel about that? Pretty tough. Yeah. I was pretty emotional. Um, these last three months have been really tough. The cancer has taken so much for me already. It's taken my health, my potential future. It's taken my energy. Mentally, it's such a challenge. Now it's taken my hair. I pray I don't lose it all. If it just thins a little bit, I'll live with that. If I lose it all, that's gonna really suck. I don't want it to take me. It can take 
those things away from me. I don't want Brian to go away. I want it to still be me. And I think that's the hardest part is that it just chunks away little things, right? Just little pieces of your life get taken away. And sometimes you feel hollow. But you guys give me strength, the ability to want to move on. Remember, there are millions and millions of people dealing with what I'm dealing with. Maybe not the same type of cancer. Maybe not the same prognosis. But they're going through the same treatments. And they're losing their hair. And they're losing all the things that I've lost. And they don't have you guys. So I'm so grateful. So if you know people, remember how hard it is going through them. You're seeing me go through this. But remember, they're going through it too, and some of them are going through it alone. And I have great people around me, so. This was the day I was worried about. It was tough, and it's tough. But I'm still planning on beating this. And when I'm done beating this, I'll grow my hair back. I've got to. I've got to beat it. I've got no choice. There's so much great things happening in the future I want to be a part of. I'm so sorry for the really down vlog today. But again, I want to take not only take you guys on all the feelings I go through and everything that's happening. But also, if there's someone out there that is struggling, they can maybe look and see. And on most days, when I'm positive and I'm still pushing forward, maybe that'll give them inspiration. That's all I have to give right now. I've got nothing else. I just gotta try to inspire. I gotta, that legacy has to grow. Pray for me to not lose all the rest of my hair and uh, Pray for me not to lose me, to continue to remind myself that I'm still in here and that I'm going to keep pushing. Alright, I love you guys.